If you are someone that is thinking about seeing a counselor, but you are scared, you are terrified, you are nervous, then trust me, this video is definitely for you. I'm going to open up about my own experiences and my own mental health, and hopefully it would inspire you to see that counselor, to take that step to possibly improving your life. But before we get into it, welcome to Depression Talks with Emmanuel. In this community, we openly talk about depression, anxiety, and low self-esteem. So hit that subscribe button because I promise you, you are not alone. I'm going to be vulnerable with you. I have clinical bipolar depression. And for the first 25 years of my life, I chose not to see a therapist or a counselor for three reasons. The first reason is I felt completely hopeless. No hope. I felt like, you know what, I've tried all these different things. Seeing a counselor is not going to help me. Seeing a therapist and talking to somebody, how the, how the heck is that going to help my situation and my mental health? Completely hopeless. The second reason is why is because I was nervous and scared. I was terrified. You're telling me to be vulnerable with someone that I don't even know? What if I cry? What if they laugh at me? What if they judge me? I was so scared of all those things happening. And the third reason why is because I was suicidal. I felt that suicide was the answer to all my problems because I've tried this, I've tried that, nothing's going to work, and I was so suicidal that I did attempt suicide. So I know all those things can be hard to hear, but I wanted to share that with you because I want you to know that you're not alone. You are not alone in how you feel. Other people, thousands, millions of other people feel the same way about being scared, being suicidal, and being hopeless. So you are not alone. Now, my first therapist that I went to made me cry. It made me feel terrible, it made me feel worse. Now, I say that because some of you have already seen a counselor and it didn't work out. That's one person. That's only one person though. So if you've already seen a counselor then and that didn't work out, that does not mean every single counselor on the planet is not helpful. So still, see a counselor, get the help that you may need if you've already experienced it before. Now, if you're someone that has never gone to a counselor, the experience is similar to this. I'm going to share a link uh, to my first experience of seeing a counselor, and then later in the video, I'm gonna to talk to you about a psychiatric ward and that, how that helped change my life. But my experience seeing a counselor that did work well is you learn different coping techniques, different skills, different ways to handle what you're going through. You learn more about your mental health. You learn more about what you're mentally going through, why you feel the way that you feel. Have you ever been curious why you feel depressed? Have you ever been curious why you feel anxious? Why you feel that you, the way you feel? If you have, then going to counseling, going to therapy, seeing a psychiatrist could possibly give you the answers that you've always been looking for. But the biggest person that's holding you back is you. The biggest person holding you back is you. Now, some of you might say in the comments, I've seen some comments like this saying, well, my parents, you know, I'm scared to tell my parents. I'm scared to talk to other people about it. I'm scared of being vulnerable. This is your life we are talking about. Your life, it's so precious. You're awesome. You are beautiful. You are amazing just the way you are. You are a light in this world. And I want you to stay. I want you to get the help that you may need. So no matter how scared you may feel, see that counselor, see them, see that therapist, talk to your parents, talk to a pastor, talk to uh, a grown up. talk to your friends, talk to anybody that you need to, to start that journey of possibly seeing a therapist or a psychiatrist or a counselor. Oh yeah, before I forget, if you're nervous about what your friends will say, what your family will say if you go to it, bump them, bump them. This is your life we're talking about. It's not their life. This is your life. Get the help that you may need. Bump the opinions of others. As always, hit that subscribe. Ah, hit that subscribe button to join this awesome, loving community that openly talks about depression, anxiety, and low self-esteem. I promise you, you are not alone. All right. As I always say, do you stay swagalicious and keep smiling.